To commemorate the first anniversary of the Republic, three special stamps were issued. Each has the same design, which reflects Singapore's policy of progress through industrialization. These stamps are the latest in a series of commemorative issues to mark Singapore's constitutional and economic progress. The series began with a set of six stamps for full internal self-government in 1959. These were the last Singapore stamps to show Queen Elizabeth's portrait. At the time of issue in 1959, the complete set had a face value of $1.39 but today it's listed in stamp collectors' catalogues as being worth $5 unused and $6 used. It's expected to increase in value. In 1960, Singapore declared June the 3rd as National Day, commemorated with a pair of stamps bearing Singapore's new flag. The following year, the National Day stamps had a unity theme. Four clasped hands against a map of the island. In 1962, the theme was the role of labor in nation building. A human figure pushes a cogged wheel, symbolic of industry. The fourth National Day stamps depicted the multi-story flats built by the Housing and Development Board. By the following year, Singapore was part of Malaysia. A complete collection of Singapore constitutional stamps might therefore include the three Malaysia map stamps issued on September the 16th, 1964. But the real collector would tell you they ought to bear a Singapore postmark. And so to National Day 1966, the first anniversary of the New Republic. The stamps show four workers striding forward against a background of the harbour factories and blocks of modern housing. The theme was repeated on the official first day cover, which bears a map of Singapore with its flag flying above industrial and shipping symbols.